And I'm not done destroying this letter. In fact, <clears throat> I am in no way done criticizing, critiquing this letter. But I'm going to just say criticizing this letter because if you repeat this, these behaviors, if you are using this kind of communication, um, this is why this person was never heard from again. You know, um, this is a letter I mysteriously found. The, who nor where is, is, it doesn't matter. Um, but I just know for a fact that this is, this letter was the end of whatever happened. Um, so let me tell you about something more relatable to today. I don't know by firsthand experience, but, uh, through a friend whom may God help them discovered, uh, or helped, uh, uh, help them discover that even on a modern iPhone, one could actually write a text so fucking long. Okay. So long that you would, you know, just sit through like, I don't know, like a Lord of the Rings trilogy. Like, okay. This, basically it just went on for days. I, I'm trying to think of like the longest book ever and <clears throat> whatever. Uh, I'm, I, I can't even think of a pop culture reference that my viewers would get. Uh, I had like a Homer Odyssey joke, but I feel like it's just going to fall flat. So, okay. So there is a thing and I don't know about this personally, and I have done the novel embarrassing texting. I have. I'm guilty of that. But someone actually beat me, and they have punished their person with the fold-out text. Okay? Not unlike a clown car, you know, where just shit just pops out, and it's just, like, ridiculous, and, like, you're laughing, and, like, you don't even take it seriously. You don't even read it, you know, or like, and you know that where the clowns just turn to the side and they just keep pulling shit out of their mouth like handkerchiefs. Yeah, there, there is a form of text message of that. And there's a little thing you click like a little arrow or something, and then it extends to a whole new page. It's, it's not even within your text. It has to go somewhere else. And it just goes and scrolls and scrolls and scrolls and scrolls. Unless they're sending you scrolls, text, honey. Um, you need to not ever send them scroll text. Okay, th this is not the Dead Seas. Okay, we don't need to translate what you're saying in different languages. Th that is not necessary. Okay, unless they're talking to you at that length, don't fucking do it. Not only are they, like, overwhelmed and, like, whoa, like, smothered and shit, that's, like, what the fuck? Like, don't ever do that. Like that, ugh. I mean, the text ratio is, is, we need to implement this all. We need to all be aware of, of how much time and energy we're getting back that we're putting in. But if you manage to somehow transcend the text ratio matrix theory and take it to a whole other level of infinite words that just don't fucking stop, Dude, not only is the person going to be annoyed, not read it, but they're just going to be like, wow. Like, why don't you just start a YouTube channel and like upload it that way? Like make a fucking speech or something because there's no way anyone can read all that. There's just not, I mean, our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. It's, it's a fact. And you just can't be like doing all that. You know, even if, even if you're breaking up with somebody, if you can't wrap it up in three paragraphs, you're just being a dick if they have to click the pull out, you know, or if you're telling somebody what's wrong with them and they have to click the pull out thing. I don't even know what the fuck it's called, but I looked it up. Apparently it was implemented in like, I guess 2015 or 17. It's an odd number, but within the last five years or so. Um, but yeah, it's a thing. Don't be the clown car texter, bitch, because you are clowning yourself. Okay. And they're laughing at you. It's, it's not the fun clown. It, it's like the scary clown. And ugh, I don't care how old you are. There's no excuse for that. Th this is like literally like 12 year old shit. Now let me tell you one thing I did. Okay. As much as I'm clowning on this clown car text, uh, l let me tell you about when I did this. I learned about this in 
freshman year. Oh, yes. Jason, uh, we won't say his last name. We won't. But fucking Jason, dick. Uh, he was like at some camp or some shit. And I missed him so bad. Like, we were talking on the phone, like, every day, and he was at camp, and we couldn't talk on the phone. So my ass thinks, oh my god, I'm gonna let him know how much of a freak I am, and how little time, and how little of a life I have, by writing him a stupid pull-out text letter every single day. So he knows that he's loved and special. Um, it hits different when you're Jason, and you're like, uh... Yeah, so, needless to say, it, it didn't work out. He felt smothered. So. And I, right, uh, I had a, I was going to an all-girl Catholic school at the time, and I had a religion class, and we had this, like, weekly, like, journal thing we had to write in and stuff, and we could just, like, keep it personal or about life. Like, it, it was just, like, I guess, a way to just kind of express ourselves. Like, it really wasn't graded on subject matter so much or whatever it was like literally diary entries um and I basically was like what the fuck dude I, I I'm being the perfect girl and I'm, I'm available and and my teacher was basically like um he felt smothered and I'm like what you can love too much like this like was like what but yeah apparently you can and ooh. Me and Jason never, ever lasted more than two months. Like, we were on and off a little bit here and there. And I got the last laugh. Pretty super ridiculous. So, um, before the, um, you know, pull out texts and shit, uh, when, like, answering machines were a, a thing, you know, you would have, like, a, a limit to the time that you could leave a message. And I broke up with him, and I kept calling back because I wasn't done with my breakup reason. So... <laughs> And his whole family heard it because it was like a family answering machine. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, he had like a ton of brothers and stuff, so he didn't like have his own phone or whatever. But yeah, so that was that. And I wrote him too many letters and it was gross and desperate. And then when I broke up with him, I had to like, I don't know if it was like my pride or ego or why I had to keep calling that machine back and finish everything. Um... Maybe I felt like because I couldn't be interrupted or something, but like, uh, I mean, to be fair, he kind of did me dirty. So uh, like a part of me, as much as I realize how immature that was now, like I still kind of like, you go 14 year old Tracy, you fucking showed him. But yeah, that was 14 year old Tracy. Um, I guess that's forgivable at 14, but anything beyond that, like you gotta figure it out, dude. Like, you can't... Smothering someone is not going to make them love you back. It doesn't matter how loyal you are, how much you do for them. They're not obligated to do anything back for you. So that's why I'm saying mirror the engagement, mirror the text, mirror the ratio. If you are doing way more than they're doing, you're just... You're a fool. And you're showing them that it's okay to do that little and still hit it. That's my point.